Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to hop into, uh... First game of Miro vs. 12-7. Uh, for the StarCraft Forum Posters League. Uh, I'm Jackson McKenzie. I am Morath, or the Great Oxalotl. Or both, at the same time. So our first, our first map is going to be Habitation Station. Um... Morath, do you know anything about uh, Twelve Seven, our our Zerg player here? Uh, no, I do not. Familiar with him at all? Okay, neither do I. So this will be interesting. I'd like to talk about the map for a second, though. Well, let me, let's uh, do some introducing of players. Uh, uh, all right, spawning in the top right-hand corner, the Terran in the red trunks from Team Skunk. It is SFP Miro. Right, and on the left side, we've got our, our Zerg wearing the yellow trunks. Uh, 12 7. Yes. He's playing for Team Gosu Koreans. Seeing how he's speaking. Well. That, that, that's just the team name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was. I was. Um. Wondering about the authenticity. Not. But... <laughs> yeah. So you, 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 uh, you had some things you wanted to say about this map, Morath? Um, or well, questions more. Okay. Uh, this map, um, this map is new to the map pool since I was seriously paying attention to. Right. Yeah, it is. It, it is a fairly new map. I believe it was released in October, November of last year. Mm -hmm. And. It, well, uh, and it doesn't look like there's anything uh, cheeky coming out from uh, from either player here. I, I, I was just wondering if there was any real... Uh, it, why they had it so that it seems more like the, cor the top corners are the spawning bases, because that's how it is. Yes. But then there's no cross-base spawns. Right, I mean, it's not a four-person map. It it right. is actually it is actually a one v one map, okay. So uh, it's like a pretty standard. Oh, okay. Uh, hatch first opening from our Zerg player. Yes. Um, I actually like that. Um, the the sort of horizontal spawns on a one v one map. It allows for some pretty interesting uh, drop play, especially given that the that the path is dead ground. Um, yeah. So you kind of have to go the long way around to get there by land, but you can fly drops over through it fairly easily. Another I interesting thing about this map is there's a lot of chokes on it, um, mm. especially in the you know sort of lower area of the map, um, and of course the gold bases. Uh, that's the huge feature of this map is the gold bases. Uh, they're very cl they're relatively close to. Uh, your enemy, uh, so taking them is a very aggressive move, but it's an aggressive move that can have some big payoffs. And so it's on you. You're really close to the enemy's gold at that point as well. Right. I just like to point out that he's that there seems to be this overlord that's watching to make try to see when the. When, yeah, when, yeah, just uh, trying to see the expansion timing. He's going to come round and yeah. take a look at the gas. I imagine we got a uh, reaper coming out from Miro. Uh, this is fairly usual for him in uh, in TVZ. Fairly um, usual for him in most mashups from what I've seen. Well, I mean, that's what I thought too, and then he completely failed to use it in his last TVP. He's like, oh yeah, I don't like that in TVP. Yeah. So, um, he's probably going to back it up with some Hellions, uh, would be my guess. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm not a huge fan of Reapers. But, um, that's, that's you, because. You play Protoss, dude. <laughs> yes, exactly. Miro's, Miro's good with his Reapers. Yeah. Um. Actually, set up my overlay so we can see this. Because I'm totally a Procaster, I know how to do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Miro does save that Reaper. Um,. I, I, I can there was, hear it healing in the background. Right, an expansion goes down for Miro relatively early, given how his usual expansion timing is usually more like six or seven minutes, but he's uh, taking it quite early. Yeah. Uh, it is a little bit... His overlord is just out of range of mm -hmm. seeing that.
Which, uh... Oh, wait. Do they have Overlord's site in this game? What? Overlord's... Uh, 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 Overlord's site was an upgrade. No. No, it's uh, yeah. Overlord's speed is an upgrade. Yeah. Um, okay, here, co here comes the scouting about. Overlord. Um, as a Zerg player, you don't really want to show off your scouting Overlord too early, because, well, Marines do kill them, like, incredibly fast. Um, but, you know, he's just going to send that Overlord to poke in and get all the information it can before it dies. Here come those Hellions. Uh, he's probably going to be pretty well defended with two Queens. He's going to lose those Lings, but, you know. Yeah. You know, two, two defensive Queens is, you know, if, if, if they're well microed, can if, if do work against Hellions. If there's that comes in there, that, that'll yeah. be a... I mean, he needs to use that Transfuse, though. There's one of those Queens is really low. But around here is... Oh, here we go. This is... Yeah, this is one of those... Oh, that... Uh, oh, those yeah. Those yeah, he's not microing those Queens that well. These Hellions are doing work. These Hellions are doing work. Yeah. We got some spine crawlers going down. I don't know how, if those spine crawlers can live long enough to do anything. No. It looks like this is going to be it. The the phrase terrible, terrible damage does come to mind. Um, Mira and I were sparring before the, uh, before the match and he did this exact same thing to me. He wiped the floor at me. These roaches are probably, are, yeah, going to push these hellions back, but that was that was a nasty, nasty fight. Um, yes. Got okay, six six workers down for uh, for twelve seven. Um. Mir's got a bunker going up behind this. I wonder if he really realizes how much damage he did in that attack. Yeah. Although, okay, that is. You know, fair number of roaches. So, yeah, and I mean, just for an, a uh, just for a recap, the number of units lost for our Zerg player is roughly about a thousand more than the, it, it is for uh, Mira. You're talking about uh, mineral value or resource value? Uh, resource value. However, yeah. that also does count drones. True. I think, yeah, because... Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, um, you know... Also, losing those two gets... queens, that really hurts as a Zerg player. Oh, yeah. It puts Aren't a major like crimp on your macro. They're like 200 or something? Uh, 125. But they also slow down your injects. You know, lo yeah. lo losing those losing those queens hurts. You got uh, Hellion down there checking for the third. Those roaches are out of position, or this maybe in position, to trap these Hellions. Those Hellions are not getting out, but they're going to do some pretty good damage before they, the, before it, they get it, taken yeah. down. But my, my issue with the way that that was handled is, the, you know, you see, you, there wasn't a lot of drone movement. I mean, there, you know, you have the whole thing, well, you might as well just mine with them, because otherwise you're lining them up. Mm -hmm. But... I mean, against splash yeah. damage attacks, yes. Yeah. Um. Also, it seems to me that there's a lack of creep spread. Yes, I mean, there I, is a lack I, of creep spread. The, uh, do remember, this is a Silver League player against a very recently Silver League player. Um, these guys don't play at pro level. <laughs> Come on, give them a break. Oh, I, I, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm just saying that... You know, All right, so we've got a th we, we've got a third going down at at the gold for twelve seven. Okay. And you know, that's, I uh, think Mira's done enough damage. I think that's a really good move, actually. I agree. It, it, uh, Mira's done a lot of damage. Twelve seven is behind, but he's in a good position right now in terms of his army um, to repel a current push from Miro, and he needs to do something to get back ahead. Having repelled those Hellions, 12-7 um, is actually in quite a good position to, you know, with with taking that third, he's in quite a good position to, to retake lost ground in this game, I think. Oh, yes. It, it'll help him get the, the his economy back up and mm -hmm. running. Yeah. And those roaches will do well for defending. Yeah. I mean, Miro has 46 SCVs to 31 drones for 12-7. 
which, given the fact that Mirror also has mules. Oh, we got a drop coming in. Is he going to be able to snipe that third? He is. He is. Oh, that's going to be painful. Yeah, that hurts. That it? hurts bad. No, and no cancel going. even. Oh. oh, that hurts. That really hurts. And now those roaches are going to be out of position. He's going to redrop in the main. Um, that spine crawler should prevent anything too, too nasty from that. Or maybe not. Right, because he brought marauders, of course. Yes. And he's going to snipe that other queen. Ouch. Not, uh, yes. not a good position for our Zerg player here. Yeah. Uh, a, a useful tidbit was, um, you, you know, you see how his uh, hatchery is placed, his macro hatchery is placed? Mm -hmm. For a while, I don't know if this is still done, but players would move it down a little bit mm -hmm. so that the creeps, the creep that came off of the macro hatch mm -hmm. would connect the two bases. Right. And that way they didn't have to spend tumors getting it there. Right, yeah. I mean, tumors just cost energy. It's, it's more a matter of, you yeah. know, your attention as a player. Okay, Miro is now taking his gold. Um, which I really like. Although he's mining it with mules, I'm not sure what I think of that. <laughs> uh, do, do they get more mules? Do, no. no. Um, a gold base uh, for an SCV drone or probe produces seven minerals per trip, uh, as opposed to a normal base is five. Mules generate 30 per trip, no matter where they're mining. So they don't get uh, anything extra from the gold base. And we do have some creep spread coming out now from uh, from our Zerg player. Um, he's listening to me. No, he's not. He's, but... uh, looks like we've also got a muta transition coming up. We've got a spire going down. Uh, I don't. I think that may be coming too late, though. Honestly, uh, this. Army, this bio ball of Nero is very scary. Yes. I, 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 I don't really play much. There goes uh, that creep spread. And here comes the big engagement at the natural ramp. Oh, they call it like. Which is not going to go well for 12 7. 12 7 is plummeting in army supply. The spine crawlers helping, but they're not enough. No, and I mean, Nero's going to push right in through this. He put his tanky units right up there to begin with, and it ended up costing him everything. The wall is going down. And this is this is gonna end it right here. Yes. Um, we're gonna be seeing a GG. Before too much longer, I think. Uh, Mirror is ahead, 100 supply, he's taking out the natural, he's got units streaming over to replace his losses. He's got corruptors and mutilisks, but... He's got some corruptors two and two mutilisks, but that's not going to actually Do save anything. him at this point. Although Miro well, is almost out of marines, weirdly enough. Yeah, I mean, if he, if he kills the marines, then this game could change a little bit. Uh, you mean this game could stretch out a little bit longer, let's be honest. Fair point. Um, well, n not, not change complete direction. Right, yeah. In... I do like Nero pushing up into the, into the main. Yeah, yeah there it is. 12-7 taps out. Good game is called. Alright. So what did you think of 12-7 um, as far as a Zerg, Zerg to Zerg player, whole, th you know? Uh, he, he was, he, he was, I would say, probably about on my level. Um, probably somewhat better, but he's not that far above me, I think. Um, he actually has a lot of the same problems that I do uh, in his play. You know, not not creep spreading and uh, not taking his expansions uh, early enough. Um, but uh, 
those are both problems I have as a Protoss as well. But <laughs> you know, I I liked I liked the idea of a muter transition on that map, um, right. but it just it it came in too late, unfortunately for him. Yes. Right. So the next yeah. map uh, is going to be heavy rain. Was that right? Um, not sure. Yeah, uh, I thought I'd... it's going to be either uh, heavy rain or Belshir vestige. I just didn't catch it. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that could be problematical. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. okay. So there used to be a map in Wings which was a lot like that. Sh mm -hmm. Long long rush distance, mm -hmm. but short air distance. Yeah, short drop distance. Yeah. It also had a uh, a island in between the two bases that you could take if you were really, really Oh, ballsy. that map. Yeah, I remember seeing that. A couple games uh, that were played on that. Mm -hmm. um, Heavy Rain is... Well, it's uh, a map that these two players are playing on. Uh, spawning in the bottom position uh, from Team Skunk, the Terran in the red trousers. It is Miro. Alright, up, uh, up in the top left-hand corner, we've got our red, our yellow Zerg, twelve seven, again. So, what we, last game uh, we saw a. Well, you're watching. You've already seen. You've probably just seen <laughs> the earlier part of the video, but uh, we we saw Miro kind of take it pretty decidedly. Yeah, that was that was a quite a quite a solid win from Miro. Um, yes. He's. One of the things that impresses me most about Miro's play at this level is his early game harass, um, especially in TVZ. Um, yes. And also, he busts out some pretty pretty good drop play in the mid game, uh, or in the early mid game, I should say. Yes. Uh, and we saw him uh, use both of those skills in in quite excellent fashion against a somewhat too greedy uh, Zerg player. It'll be interesting to see what kind of build order um, 12-7 goes with in this game. He's up to 15 drones. Uh, looks like he's actually going... Up, okay, okay, so he's going for, uh, for a 15 pool. A much, uh, much safer opening. Is that common? 15 pool? Yeah. It's a, okay. That's actually probably the most standard-ish... Zerg build is a 15 pool and then take the hatch behind it. Okay. Um, 15 hatch is also seen. Uh, that's what 12-7 did last game. Yes. Uh, no, here, comes the, here comes the hatch for 12-7. Yeah. 15 plus one, you know, 15 whatever your main command center building is is actually possible for all the races. True. Um, it, it, it's just very common for Zerg. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, it's well, that, it's it's, it, it's on the greedy works. side, but it's not nearly as greedy as say 15 Nexus. Yeah. Um, it, it, the Nexus first builds all have that, but um, it, what what I find interesting is due, due to the f fact that you know Zerg have the lower base cost, but they also have the faster uh, they also have the faster production speed for their uh, their workers. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, the thing the about uh, playing as Zerg is that you have got to get, uh, I mean, you've got to get unit production happening quickly, you know. So it's it's more important to take that hatchery early, and to, and to take that expansion earlier. All right, Reaper and the Lings uh, crossing each other like ships passing in the night. Here comes Miro's Reaper uh, into twelve seven's base. Looks like that queen is going to be pretty well positioned to prevent anything too, too nasty. Yes. Um, did get one uh, one drone kill there. Uh, and a good scout off. Oh no, but this brood war drone 
it spawned in front of the base and was not moving. Oh, whoops. <laughs> forgot like, to uh, oh. forgot to rally it, I guess. Well, specifically, you know, when, when it probably one of those, oh crap, we're going to deal with the Reaper, and then mm -hmm. he accidentally right-clicked and he right. selected his larva yeah. beforehand. Mm -hmm. One of the many reasons I couldn't play Zerg. Mira's going to get some Ling kills out on these, uh, these early scouts. Uh, Ling speed is actually on the way for 12-7 this time around. Yes. Uh, he's got some uh, some good defensive Lings. But uh, that Reaper might be able to hop back, back up into the main and do some damage. Uh, yes. And a very, very early lair coming down from 12-7. From this is this is interesting. I wonder what he's going for with this. Is he We've thinking got... maybe early Mutas? Perhaps. We've got some more Reapers on the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We've got three yeah. Reapers coming in, coming up into the main. Uh, these mean, these, these Reapers are going to be... Yeah, this is going to hurt. Uh, especially if he micros these Reapers well, which of course he is doing. Um, oh, oh, but those but nice speed catch. just pops and those Reapers just barely make it away. Yeah. Um, He's at least bought himself some time for more re Reaper harass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got, Hel he's got Hellions on the way behind this. Um... This this is a more usual time for Miro to expand, uh, given what I've seen of him in the past. Uh, mm -hmm. Expansion coming down at 7:30. Uh, oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I, a lot of players you'll see will turn their command centers into orbital commands before moving them. Mm -hmm. But that, um, it's interesting that he didn't do that. Mm -hmm. I th did he build it there, or was I just no? No, no, he he just... built he built it on the high ground. Huh. Um, got those uh, Hellions uh, Ooh, doing some work against Hellion. these speedlings. Well microed Hellions. Very well microed. Trying Hellions. to snipe that queen, and I think he is going to get it. There it is. Ouch. Ooh. I mean, it, you, losing your creeps, bright queen, isn't nearly as as painful as losing your macro queens. This is for... Um, interesting place for 12-7 to hide his overlords up in the upper right. This is true. This is a place that's, you know, got some extra, oh no, I need to run away mm -hmm. room up there. Un unlikely to get Viking sniped, although difficult to defend with your base's anti-air. True. It's interesting. D despite the early lair, we've not seen any lair tech coming out for, um... Oh, he's gonna catch him. Oh! Oh. Ooh. Yeah, a bit of a positioning mistake by Nero, but just too much oh, firepower. Those, leans do, those lings do get cleaned up. Yeah, it, it was... It was definitely a, a mistake on Mira's part, but I mean, he, he I mean, he he, he he ended up making it work. He he could have been trapped, yeah. but he had so much firepower and just stuck behind there. He couldn't. Their links couldn't get the surface area they needed to to finish it off. Yeah, that and the, he didn't move. He he could have pulled some links around and yeah. gone on the other side, but all right. Now we have the double Evo it. chamber coming down for uh for twelve seven. Um, Ooh. I'm really wondering why that early lair. Um, given that he didn't have EO Chambers down, it couldn't have been for upgrades. Um, here come those links against Blue Flame Hellions. This is gonna go poorly unless they can surround well. Oh, which they do. Ooh, they do. And they, they're gonna clean up these Hellions, looks like. And we've got Ooh, more Hellions coming more. <laughs> in. But, uh, yeah, I think, I, I think the, uh, that, that may very well... No, it's not gonna end Mirror's Hellion Harass. He's got four more building. Um, and 12-7 is just still making lots of lings. Um, Mira's done a really good job of forcing units out of 12-7. I think 12-7 might be in a bit of panic mode here, because he only has... How many is that? Uh, 26 drones? Yes. Well, what uh, is my... Whereas Mira, Mira's got 41 SCVs. Uh, he's on equal bases. This is not where the Zerg player wants to be. Absolutely not. But you got to ask yourself, uh, what 
it, what has he been doing off the back of this? Which, it looks like he's been doing quite a bit. He's been building up his production. What has Mira been doing, you mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Off the back of this aggression. Yeah. Because he's been buying himself the time. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been buying himself the, you know, oh, all of the... I mean, he's been doing know. so much damage with this aggression, I'm not even yeah. sure he needs to do something behind this. You know, looking around I, for looking around for expansions. We do have Banelings uh, coming down for... Uh, for twelve seven, so uh, but they're still slow banelings. Yes. Um, and they're you were not seeing waters. much much production out of out of twelve seven. Um, still definitely very far behind in economy. Um, this, this is looking like a painful spot for a Zerg player. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know, he's forced. We've got Desert four players. siege tanks on the way and a Nidus network coming down. Ooh. Along with I twenty-four like more lings. This is something I like a lot of. I like the idea behind the Nidus network, but I don't I don't know. Yeah, I, I think he might be I think he it might be, be too little too late, to be honest. Yeah. Um you know, Mira's, Mira's got sieged up tanks and blue flame hellions against the Zergling and Baneling composition. Um, this is, you know, I would, I, instead of that Nidus network, I would have rather seen a, a Roach Warren or something. Something to tank a little bit better. You know, Miro now sieging up outside 12-7's uh, natural. Uh, there comes the Nidus, the Nidus Worm um, down in Miro's main. Uh, if he can get those speedlings down there, that Both could be really painful. But uh, I don't know. What Dual Seven doesn't want to do is base race. Well, actually, right. I don't know. You never want to base race a Terran. Um, well, true. That's just that's just bad. Okay, there here come the speedlings down into the main. But Nero does have defensive siege tank there, and those things are not going to do a whole lot. Um, a lot of SCV kills, however. Um, well, actually, no, only three. Only three SCV kills. Um, yeah, well. And 12 7 taps out. Yes. Uh, Miro takes the series 2 0. Uh, he does. I did like a lot of what we saw out of 12 7 as far as decision making and right. some of his reactionary play. Mm hmm. Yeah, but he, he just, he was not droning up nearly as hard as he needed to in either one of those games. And I think that, well, at least in the second one, I thought that was a lot of Miro playing very, very heavily into the, let's force him to build units. Let's, right. You know. Yeah. And unfortunately for 12-7, they were the wrong units against that composition. Um, Towards the end composition, yes. Do, do, I mean, uh, against Hellions, you don't want Lings, you want Roaches. The, yeah, you, you want Roaches. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, well, uh, that concludes this series. Um, hope you all have enjoyed it. I'm Jackson right. McKenzie. I'm Mora. And this has been the StarCraft Forum Posters League.